with the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal. Today we will start the fifth pillar of Islam, which is Al Hajj. And the Arabic word for Hajj means to go for a definite aim. In Arabic, we call it Al Qasd. But linguistically, is different than legislatively. So, in Sharia, what does Hajj mean, or was it? What is it defined by? Scholars say that it's an act of worship through fulfillment of certain rites in a particular place or places during a specified period of time in accordance with Allah's messengers practice sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Hajj is done at a particular time and these are the months of Hajj and it has to be performed at particular places such as Mecca, Mina, Arafa, and Muzdalifa. It cannot at all be performed elsewhere. And it definitely cannot be performed in other than the months of Al-Hajj. And it has to be in a sequence and in accordance to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What is the importance of Hajj? This is indeed a pillar of Islam. It purifies people from sins and keeps away poverty when they frequently perform it. And it is a fulfillment of the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Alaihi Wasallam who said keep on repeating Umrah and Hajj for they purify an individuals an individual from poverty and sins like the bellows purify the iron from the impurities in it it's sufficient also to know that whenever you perform Hajj perfectly and you do not associate it with any impurities such as fighting swearing or sexual intercourse when a person is in the state of ihram then we know that he will come as if it is the day his mother gave birth to him so hajj is a huge ritual in islam unlike prayer it's not only physical unlike zakat it's not only financial rather it's a combination of all almost all forms of worship where you refrain like fasting from doing certain things where you're compelled to act and do certain things when you have to provide and spend financially in order to be able to go so all of these give Hajj its identity and its important role in a Muslim's life.